What's up YouTube? Mike from Mass here. Mass Aquariums and it's water change time in the 10 gallon. <clears throat> so I've taken out about 25 or so percent. About two and a half gallons pretty much total. But today this video is going to be about dipping corals. Uh, this is my first coral dip. These lovely babies were pre-dipped for me when I bought them. So I got my Coral RX here. This is what I'm going to dip my corals with. I have my two buckets. One is to rinse the coral and one is to dip the coral. I got this nice pinwheel coral from Live Aquaria. Uh, it's been in the box for 24 hours so we will see if it comes nice to life. But what I'm going to do is follow the instructions. It is one gallon of tank water to 20 ml of Coral RX. Now you can put a power head in here, or you can just stir it around, say with a wooden spoon. You know, I'm just gonna stir it around with a wooden spoon. I have an extra power head, but to be honest, I'd rather just stir it around instead of getting the power head out, putting it in the bucket, plugging it in, then rinsing it off afterwards, and blah, blah, blah. And then after about eight or 10 minutes in this bucket, I'm gonna put it in a bucket of also tank water that's at the temp because I just took it out of the tank and I'm gonna rinse it off and then I'm going to put it in the tank and I'll let you know after it's done we'll see what it looks like stay tuned alright folks the dip is done uh, let me just give you a shot of uh, these Zoas I've had in here for a few days they're looking let's see if I can zoom in here at all and try to focus they look so much better than when they first came in there. They're actually doing great. Uh, they did just open up, you know, because I have the light on. They're closing up a little. And this is the Zoa pinwheel, they're calling it, that came from Live Aquaria. Uh, I honestly cannot tell if they look healthy or not because <clears throat> I don't know what an unhealthy uh, Zoa looks like. I'm assuming they would die pretty quick, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. There is still some pieces dangling off here that I'll probably pull off. Um, I don't quite know what that is. You guys can leave a comment and let me know. But this is what the tank looks like. Uh, nice water change, fish are happy. I put a tiny little piece right here. Um, so I got this Zoa, this Zoa, this, and then this massive pinwheel. I'm hoping they're going to be open tomorrow morning. So let me just show you what came out of this. I don't know if you can see. All, look at all this junk that came off it. This is the rinse, little starfish or whatever that is, something, shape of a star. A little bug right there where the flashlight is, all this jazz everywhere. So, I did a dip. Some of this might be dirt, you know, who knows. But, I know you can't picture on, see it on camera, but there is some stuff down in there that just does not look like dirt. It looks like something that was alive or something, I don't know. But first dip, it was worth it. Uh, tank is starting to come together. I'm gonna get a few more Zoas. Um, I really hope these guys open up tomorrow with the light and they made it healthy and I might order from them again. And I'll give you a review tomorrow or the next day on how it came out. So. It's my first coral dip. Uh, tank's coming along nicely. I'm gonna get a nice, another piece of live rock or life rock for over here. Nice big boulder. And it's gonna be covered with uh, GSP, green star polyps, that I'm gonna pick up at my local fish store. They just got some in. Hopefully go there tomorrow or the next day. So I'll fill up this area. And everything's looking good. So, this is Mike from Mass. First dip, I'm out.